In counties across the United States, including North Carolina, the goal of property assessment is to accurately value a property so that local governments know how much to charge in taxes. Simply put, the assessed value of the property should equal its market value, meaning the price somebody would pay for it. To get a clearer look at the accuracy of the assessment process, a method called a sales ratio is used. The sales ratio is the assessed value of a property divided by its market value. The perfect assessment will have a sales ratio of 1. This basically translates to the sales value equaling what it was assessed for, a 1 to 1 relationship. Spoiler alert, this isn't always the case. Every year, about 5% of the housing stock in Buncombe County is listed and sold. Here's some examples. This house was sold for $680,000 in 2021. Or this home, which was sold in 2021 for $1,825,000. Or this home, which sold in 2021 for $2,450,000. When a home is sold, the county assessor's office receives information about the home, including the sale price, square footage, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and other details. County records on the home may be updated based on the sale information. In some cases, the number of bedrooms or bathrooms may have changed since the last time it was sold, which would mean the county property record would have to be corrected. The county then reassesses the property following the sale so that the assessed value is more accurate. This home, which sold in 2021 for $680,000, was previously assessed at $197,600, which created a sales ratio of 0.29. This means that it was assessed at 29% of its sale value. After the sale, it was reassessed at $625,000, creating a new sales ratio of 0.92. This home, which sold in 2021 for $1,825,000, was previously assessed at $806,300, which created a sales ratio of 0.44. Following the sale, it was reassessed at $1,415,200, creating a sales ratio of 0.76. This home, which sold in 2021 for $2,450,000, was previously assessed for $1,424,000, which created a sales ratio of 0.58. After its sale, it was reassessed at $1,818,700, creating a sales ratio of 0.74. When we take a closer look at sales records, we find out that about 40% of homes sold had incorrect data. Most of these homes are higher value homes that have the incorrect information, allowing them to continue paying less than their fair share of property taxes. Even if the county corrects the assessed value of the homes that were sold, what about the 95% of homes that aren't sold each year? How many of these homes are incorrectly assessed? According to the law, the assessed value should equal the market value regardless if the home is sold that year or not. By underassessing higher value homes, Buncombe County residents miss out on at least $5 million of property taxes each year that's needed for the schools, parks, public safety, and other critical needs. Visit justaccounting.org to learn more about why we are looking at these problems and how we can use math to help solve them.